And those mothers need to take those young boys and say, you, you want to go to school. You don't want to be a terrorist. <laughs> Today, they, hold, they hail the presence of the troops of the, mod, of the modern U.S. armed forces, appreciating the assistance they are giving to the armed forces of the Philippines in the matter of combating terrorism, the scourge of Mindanao. It is the Sambongueño's hope that from your visit, we will, then, we will help them to bring back permanent peace in this beleaguered area. Honorable, it's a, it's a privilege to be amongst so many honorable people. Your, uh, your military has struggled on our behalf uh, uh, and on behalf of your own citizens with uh, terrorist uh, problems in the South. Uh, currently, uh, Ms. Yap and the Burnhams remain hostages of the ASG. Uh, that is uh, an aspect of what we are here for, but more importantly, as part of the agreement that our presidents have reached, it is our desire to leave your country with a, a better capability to prevent terrorism from creating a, 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 an environment where terrorism can, can fester and grow. The safe return of the Burnhams is is uh, an important will be an important product <coughs> byproduct really of uh, what we are trying to do here for them. What we want to do is prevent the next Burnhams, as well as assist the Philippine government to bring them back safely and unharmed. This will help us, the military will have this certain idea which could help to solve these problems. Just like for example, the problem here in Mindanao in just like the, you know, the Abu Sayyaf kidnapping and ransom, yes. No 